Hello YouTube, Steve Trucker here. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do apologise I have been away as of late. I also, uh, on this video, I've not been overly too well. I had a sore throat, so that's why I sound a bit a bit down when I, I'm actually not down. <laughs> Believe it or not. So, uh, I'd like to say, yet again, a massive thank you to everybody who subscribed. I know I apologise at the start of the video and all that. But yet again, it's been such a long time. And also I'm including a little bit of footage from my holiday as well. So hopefully you enjoy. I'll see you in a little bit. Over and out. Steve truck here, so I'll make sure the cameras. Hope your front camel's okay. Uh, I think I've got it about level, and that's okay. What's happening today? I saw so welcome back to my channel. I do apologize for the massive gap of videos and content, it's longer than I first predicted, but never mind. It is what it is. We're at Yeovil Services. Stopped off to grab some coffee. It's first in the morning. I parked up at uh, the rest stop or Yeovil rest stop. That's basically the next roundabout down last night. Not a brilliant night's sleep. It's actually all right to be honest. Aside some uh, some people uh, started to have a full conversation around about two 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 thirty last night. Right beside my truck. I didn't get involved. Didn't say nothing. But it's irritating that I woke up by people who just shit basically talking extremely loudly. I don't know if they're drunk or not, it's hard to tell. But I was tired, so <laughs> it was still irritating and very un un unconsiderate. 
of them to do that. I'm not saying, you know, you should pull into services and not chat, but be aware what you park next door to and, you know, it's either one massive family or a load of people. I mean, it was like two people, it was like quite a few people. Check that one out. Do it. I didn't quite pick into the conversation, but yeah, they're chatting roughly about what they're doing. Good to see him come to my bed. Never mind. I did check. I should probably put my indicator as well. Never mind. It's not a legal requirement, <laughs> by the way, for anybody digs at me about that. Because I saw absolute jackal coming. Still, also committed, then the motorbike will so. Well, not up and out the way about fast I need to. We can make that. You can make that. If he wants to speed up this is a shit. There we go. All good. Didn't even need to slow down. So, yeah, um, what are we doing? We're going up to our usual customer. we on trip to Mallet Way. And this is probably one thing I do want to talk about is my vlogging, certain requirements I inflict on myself plus also what my company, uh, as I've told you has required me to do as well so I'm basically certainly not without permission, not allowed to film on customer sites that's what my requirements of the company allow me to vlog which I want to get reiterate this point again is the issue with that is it makes and I, this ain't a dig at the company by the way this is the perfect I like to say this I, I appreciate why they do it as well they they said not trying to be a pain about it it's just because of liability and and all that such like and the fact is, as they put it, they know I probably won't be doing nothing wrong, but it's just in case the camera picks up something that somebody else is doing wrong on the site, it gets in obviously massive on YouTube because I haven't seen it, but somebody's seen it, you know, you know how these things work, you know, and so on and so forth. But the issue that causes me, obviously, I know I've got viewers, and I, I feel the frustration, I really want to show off my uh, tanker at the end of the day, the functions of my tanker is pretty cool with them. But it might be interesting, it might be more or less normal to me, but you know, it's quite interesting for some, for a lot of people. And yes, it is a big thing of what I do, and it's a lick of it chopped out. <laughs> and yes, I am, I admit, I am trying to work on that, but it's just fine with the white site, what opportunity to do it. You know, e.g. time, you know, because they'd set the cameras up, right format. Yes, to be honest, I don't even need to shove a lot of company sites at all, really, to do it, but it, I'm very respectful of the only bit I do take a little bit of discretion with is if I'm just filming inside the cab. I may do that on a company site. I'm not saying I've never shown a company site, I may have done, you know, it's it's a bit like I try on my preferences how I run the channel is I try not to mention companies by name, I think I have. On occasion I might have let the old name out there and again. You know, it's not the end of the world if I did, but I try not to fully advertise I'm going to X, Y or Z, you know, company. I might give a rough location where I'm going or a place. But that's what I'll probably do. Yes, quite a few other places you can probably work out where I am going. You know, we're a bit of uh, <laughs> you know investigation work, especially knowing our to to a tra tanker. You know, and it's for food, food and farm produce. So <laughs> yeah, um, that's what I mean. I'm saying it's not a top secret what we do. It's just, down to law, it's down to liability, and that's one reason why I try not to mention companies all the time by the names. I admit I do say it now and again. It's not like a broken a major rule there, it's just hopefully the cameras 
pointing the right way. I've just got a feeling it's not quite centered but never mind it's not the end of the world should be on my view anyway so you should be seeing me either way i'll see more of my camera bags and stuff but yeah we've been filming for six minutes now so yeah and you know that's the main critical walls i follow i have some other sub general walls i follow like with with like showing other vehicles and all that. I'm happy to like now to film as I'm driving along. If it comes into sight on the boat way, it doesn't matter. But if I'm involved in an accident, I happen to be filming, not that it's actually happened, you know, or I witness, probably more likely really, or incredibly more likely, somebody's bad driving. I try not to show a lot of that. I may create videos on the Pacific subject and may contain videos of that nature from what I've seen. There could be a possibility I'll release something like that. But that would be very... what's the word? I mean I'm not saying I've never shown it out on the road, you know, if it happens in front of me while I'm live filming, tough luck. You know, and if I release that film, fair enough, you know. But I'm not going to, you know, get all the footage I can get, even off my dash cam, and just go name and shame all, all around at the end of the day. It's not my policy. I know, yes, it can make my channel more popular doing that, but... Even though I do stand fully against bad driving, and it is frustrating, I would love to name and shame, but... <sighs> Just saying about it doesn't feel too right to run my channel as that, if you know what I mean. If you know what I'm trying to get at there. As I said, I, I do open and leave the door open. If I do a Pacific video on the certain road behaviour or something like that, bad driving and stuff like that, I've discussed bad driving and elements of it before in other vlogs and videos. Because it is a thing we have to deal with as drivers every single day. I had, yesterday, three near misses in an old workplace. Oh boy, you'll be filling out the near miss book. For those kind of things that I saw yesterday. You know, just vast majority of people just recklessly overtaking or do crazy things in front of you. Like pulling out in front of a truck moving at 50 miles an hour with less than 50 metres. You know, what was the other one? Oh yeah, driving Miss Dodo yesterday, down the A303, crawling down it about 30 miles an hour in her own little weld. What also made it worse was that the fact that she was weaving to the centre line. So I hanged off behind her for a little bit just to sort of protect her from other traffic from hazards on giving her a little bit of a flash, just in case she's a bit, you know, she's not, not a fully old dear. I mean, she probably looked like she in the 60s when I saw her, but no, to me, I'm not saying she can't be on drugs or anything like that, I have no idea what's going on there. So I decided to get past her, I just had enough for me, you know, because it was a step slow in the bay, you know, dual cadre section for 3 or 3, it's just like, this is getting dangerous, this is, I'm not putting myself in there. I know, yes, in the truck, so any questions me, I'm probably going to be fine. But I don't want to involve myself in that Muppet's behaviour. I've done my best, flash her all, I even horned her past because she came towards me when I went from overtake. I'm like, ah. And she sort of backed off. And that is more or less the last I saw there. So. I mean, you run, you run into people like that that you don't expect to be crawling down in the 70 section, you know, around 30. Yeah. And that just could be because they're a nervous driver. Doesn't mean they're on drugs, it could mean, you know, they're not a very com competent driver at all. 
and the dual car drive for them is a very scary place to be. A lot of fast moving vehicles, etc. etc. This is a very vague subject video, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a bit about my channel, a bit about woe behaviours. Yeah. Oh, I'll leave that as that. That was a good example of what happened yesterday. That's all, that was pretty much the perfect example there of what you have to put up with as a motorist and as a commercial driver. I'm not saying we have more right in the way on the road, no. It's just, it is really dangerous and really frustrating when in situations like that. People who either are off the heads on something, drugs, alcohol, whatever it may have been. I mean, she wasn't leaving incredibly, but she was literally sticking to the centre line. You know, say this is the dual car drive, this lane one, that's lane two, the other side, she was right on the no, just veering out to the middle line, which will move back in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, whatever. I'll leave that for now. But yeah, uh, what else has been going on? So I've done a bit of a introduction to you know the limitations. I thought I need to reiterate that on the channel again. It sounds very really negative. It isn't. It's just make realise that as a vlogger, we do have to hold it or how I feel I've got responsibilities for what I release. That's me personally. You know, I'm not saying other truck vloggers don't, they probably do, but this is part of the process that's a bit behind the scenes that, you know, as a viewer, and I, you know, I watch YouTube, before I vlogged, you know, you probably don't, don't quite appreciate the amount that needs to go into uh, needs to go into the uh, video, you know, in terms of what you're showing, legalities, etc, 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 et so on and so forth, you know, let alone the editing, which is good fun actually, but it takes a lot of time sometimes, and that can be, a, I need to get myself an editing laptop because I can do that in the week then and it will just fit my free time to be a bit more freer, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, so that bit's over. I had an absolutely epic holiday in Florida. You know, we went to Epcot, Typhoon Lagoon, NASA, St. Augustine, and many other places as well. So yeah, that was a really good holiday. Got back. Got was back about a day late to work, but the truck was fixed it broke down when I was away again. Uh, so I returned back to work on the day I thought, so I returned back on the uh, Friday of the week I returned back to work instead of the Thursday. So I've had about three weeks now without really vlogging and I had one and a half weeks affected by a massive sore of throat as well. And just part of it, I'm just not in the mood to vlog, if you know what I mean. I'm not, I don't want to vlog if I'm not in the mood. Because at the end of the day, it's just a hobby. You know, I don't don't take that the wrong way. It, and I don't want to force it upon myself and burn myself out when I don't feel like, actually, why am I vlogging, you know. I just want to be a bit chill right now. <laughs> So I think this will be a chat video because it's going to go on for the cabal this like. It's going to be a chat and, and drive video I think. I was going to do a day vlog today but I think actually the first video I release out should be uh, a bit of a video about what I've just talked about. You know I want to say yet again a massive apology for you know the gap. Of, uh, of content. I know it's irritating, I do apologise. <sighs> but I'm also off on holiday again at the end of, or after this week, because today is the 13th of July, I think, Saturday. So, uh, 
yeah. Other big news is the channel, I might be getting a new truck sooner than I think, but don't hold me to it. You know, it, I, I was told this over two weeks ago, and I said, when will it be? Roughly about two weeks, I was told. So, in theory, I should have had it now, but it's transport, and there's stuff goes on behind the seat, you know, I've not received the truck yet off the supplier, you know, so on and so forth. Bear in mind, it probably needs to get fitted out with what we need on it. So that might, it might have received it, but the wait for that to be done, you know, who knows what actually is going on, you know. I'm not passing the boss about it at the end of the day, you know, it's, you know, it's down to the boss, or the company, you know, to sort it out. It's not end of the world for me, you know, it's just... It would be nice to know more accurately saying, right, by the X amount you will have it by, you know, because then I know if I'll have it for the truck fest. But I'm not having a dig there, that's, you know, I'm perfectly fine. But it's nice to know that we're we'll getting the truck soon, and then I thought I'll actually be getting one, if you know what I mean. But in transport, when you're told two weeks, it can often mean two months. I just said there's a lot that can drag things out, you know, that might be they've actually received it in two weeks, but is it actually ready for me to have? Yes, it might be another month or two, two more weeks to get that sorted. Who knows, but I was in the yard a week ago, I hadn't seen any new trucks yet, or, you know, ones I was expecting to see in, but who knows what's going on. But yeah, everything is all good, life's good, the, oh, the flat I was selling, that's being finalised in two weeks time, so that's good, that means we get paid in two weeks for that, so that's good, I'm very happy with that one, so hopefully it goes through, well, I don't see why not now since we've got the finalisation date, you know, not temptingly fate, if you know what I mean. So that's really good news, which also equals, and that happens, once I get my payment from the house, I will probably get myself a new motorbike. But we'll see. I've got eyes on the Harley Davidson at the moment. I know, some people go, they're expensive, you know. <laughs> yeah, to a degree, but compared to the other bikes I'm looking at, it's in the ballpark. You know. So I'm after a big tour one. But the first thing I need to do is actually go and test wide one. I still need to test wide it, even though it's number one on my list. Very closely followed by the Honda Goldwing, not the new one. The Tray 12, Tray 17 model. We'll be looking at, but I don't talk about too much more because A, I, I don't know how many people on the channel will be interested in my biking. So I don't want to bore you too much of my motorbiking. As I said I may release some videos in the future, me biking. I still need to do a montage of my holiday, so I was thinking about doing that as well. I've got a few days as well, I'm on the beginning of believe anyway package to get stuff like this sorted. I may be very busy doing other stuff as well, obviously related to the house as well, because I need to get a few things sorted, because then when I'm away, actually on my holiday, when it actually does get settled, I hopefully then don't need to do anything, there's, there shouldn't be any worries. Now I've only got one more thing to do with the, fl the flat, and it literally is ready to, you know, say goodbye to it. But it, it happens in the more pain than the next job, but I need to get that done next week. Hell or high water, as I say. So, there's lots of good news going on at the moment. You know, potentially new truck around the corner, flat selling, maybe getting, maybe getting a new motorbike. It's not 100% guaranteed I am, so I don't get my hopes up too high. But we'll see. The chances are I will. Obviously, you've got to factors, there's a lot of variables that could get in between it though, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, 
And yeah, the uh, last few weeks been normal, just normal really, just nothing besides from what I've just said worth overly mentioning. Just normal weeks really. Got back to work normally, no major dramas, you know, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. You know, but yeah, again, I'm off, I'm off for a little while again. Then next next month we've got Truck Fest, which I'm looking forward to. I'm a bit apprehensive just because of potentially getting a new truck as well. That could rock up before, which it's not a bad thing, you know, going truck fest in a brand new truck. Not a, not the worst worst thing ever. But it you know, it would be nice to know if that definitely is happening or not. I would probably prefer to take this truck because I've put some work into her. She's not looking show standard at the moment. No, she will need a day prep before to get her, you know, bling bling polished up, you know. I mean, I'm not expecting to win anything. I'm not actually going to show to fully compete for the cleanliness award. It'd be as presentable as I can get it. You know, uh, and that's because, you know, I'm not saying the trucks who are, are competing aren't working trucks. They are. You know, there are people put a lot of time in the trucks. And I appreciate it. You know, I've been doing a bit. I've been starting to polish your batch with some step ladders as well. That should be at home now because it wasn't now on the weekend, but there was a chance it may have not been. So, I know my luck, that's what out would have gone. And also, wash stick as well, so extendable pole wash things so you get to areas that you can't really reach. Set ladders, I may need to do the polishing, I need to make a slight modification on them some foam on one end so when I lean it against the truck it doesn't scratch or damage the truck if you know what I mean so I fold out ones which look quite good so yeah that that's a start another improvement thing to I know I haven't done any vlogs in the build-up for truck fest as I was meaning to do as well I, I do apologize you know vlogging and other things going on in life you know I actually had done a video on it at one stage but it just didn't turn out the way I what went on with it but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted and yeah this thing with vlogging you know you'd be surprised how much I actually do film I film quite a lot to be honest but quite often it is the case that you know, I just look at the content and go, no, or, you know, I didn't have time to edit it, that's the main point. No, I do actually have, did, well, still storing some of it up to use, you know, as background imaging and all that you know, for future content, but uh, aside from that, it's just the time to edit a lot of it as well. So off and I'll get to a weekend and I'll, I'll have to choose between maybe one one thing out of maybe four things I filmed. I need to try to be either the more relevant video or the video I haven't series I haven't updated that often or you know I try and keep it fairly fair between my playlists give and take. I know yes the service review one is called the most laggy one. That, the only reason for the service one lagging so much is just having the opportunity to do it at different services, which I do go to the old different one, but having the time to do it and to be able to fairly review the services as well is a factor. But the primary factor is time, you know, and being in the mood to do it as well. don't want to be like forced upon I must do a review of this service so I'm not here that often you know but uh, that series will be still added to don't worry there will be content coming for that eventually as I said it's just finding the balance on the channel starting to pick up what's popular and what isn't on my channel and all that as well so 
obviously I'll try and start catering to you know the element that is more popular but I'll try and keep up some of the content I do also enjoy doing as well even if it isn't as popular as I know my new driver series instructional videos tend to be the more popular elements understandably but obviously that content I'll just make sure I get it right or as, you know as wide as I know it to be you know because I don't want to uh, put any false information out there in terms of how to do things obviously I'd, I do have a waiver and the waiver with any of my instructional or, you know, instructional based or tutorial based uh, videos in terms of even talking about trucking. You know, I'm not a truck driver instructor, by the way. You know, and that's my waiver. You know, that what I say is just what I say. You know, always seek advice off your driver trainer if you're not sure. You know, yes, take on the content, you know, but always with any content online. No matter how good the vlogger is, and, you know, I always take it with a little bit of a grain of salt, you know, just, you know, just be a little bit wary that, you know, anybody's open to make a mistake. You know, anybody is able to, you know, make a faff of something, you know, they might have overlooked something or missed something, you know, it's a bit like I'm watching all the other vloggers well, because older vlogs, I think he changed it after, but when, when he first released it, he was showing how to disconnect. And, or reconnect even. And he did do, or he did show checking and putting the, the pin on, pin in on the, uh, or the clip in on the fifth wheel. Which is, and even he did do it on the checks after. Obviously, quite naturally, like myself, other people commented on after saying, you missed this, big no-no, you know, you know, you need that, you know, and that's just proof that on the vlogs you can miss stuff. You know, he probably did check the pin, he did, probably did do all that, but, and there was some other thing with the video as well, I don't think he demonstrated the shunts. You know, there's key things within certain bits of subjects you've got to do. But as a vlogger, it can be easy to miss. You might overlook it. You know, it might be too the norm to you that you don't realise that's part of the drill. <laughs> and you only do it, but you don't did show it. You know, which means when you show it to YouTube, it looks like you did do it. And yeah, it just opens up a can of worms. And that falls back down to liability. And uh, I want to get to this stage to talk about the RT Keedwell vloggers. I know that's big news. And it is a shame. Because Jenko's pretty much come, pretty much my top trucking vlogger. I really love his vlogs. You know, it's nice, it seems like a nice guy. But it seems like a nice guy. I always say that because, you know, YouTube and social media like this can make anybody look good you know but the chances are he is a very nice guy i'm not saying he's a bad guy <laughs> I, I actually honestly believe he's actually a sound bloke you know sound trucker and i wish him all the best because he's gone off to do some container work and i think he's on holiday this weekend or something he, he's a sound chap and uh Keep forgetting his name, I should know him. The other Barty Keydwell vlogger, big one. Part of the same group, the Road Legends. Yeah, I do not know what his plans were. I think he's staying with Barty Keydwells at the moment, what I've gathered. So he won't be saying more content. Basically, Barty Keydwell had put a, a change of policy to no vlogging. You know, pretty much overnight. But, uh, not to go through any of the other issues of that company, it's not, I'm not in the place to criticise one on one. I can criticise RT Keyboard a little bit, but I'm not going to do it. It's not my place, not the vlog to do it in. But it's their right to ban it. it you know, it's 
where we went on, you know, that's that's the thing I've got to be wary of. It can just happen overnight, no matter how small or big your company is. The chances are my company, I, if it ever happened, I would be told very clearly why it's happened, you know. The chances are it won't happen, you know, because it's a small company, you know, I know the boss, you know, it's easy for me to go, like, if he, a few complaints come in, you know, you, you might have heard me say, look, I've had some complaints, this happened, or that happened, or, you know, and I'll be involved in this conversation, you know, the chances are, it'll be like, yeah, like, as long as I've done anything wrong, you know, it'll be wavered off, you know, and that's one of the reasons why I had to chat at the start of this video to talk about liability and you know some of the processes I have to do about my vlogs rules I follow I have I said I inflict rules on myself as well there's some of the rules I do follow I don't discuss right now not being nothing funny nothing bizarre but it it's all about self uh, what's it called not monetization um, self-control of what information you put out, you know, because that's what I'm doing, I'm putting information out there, aren't I? And as, as I've said, I tried, the information I try to release, I try to be truthful and honest and accurate with what I try to release. Also from my perspective, you know, perspectives can vary. long vlog isn't it 32 minutes we'll go on a little bit further and I'll shut you off shortly before we get to the customer but yeah I, I'm really sorry I've been nagging on through different subjects I've been all over the place but this is one of my chat videos it can vary go off in different directions than I thought it would do you know this is sort of not really fully planned out these videos this is on the fly chatting them out stuff and go actually chat about that now <laughs> so yeah it could be a bit more organized I know and this is through my improvement program of improving the channel is to improve my content so in the future I'll try and list stuff out I want to do in a certain video and I'll try and stick to what the subject I'm talking about I know I do vary off but I think most of it's been about the same thing about how the channel has been going you know, chatting about things that have been happening late because it is frustrating when vloggers go offline. You know, certainly a bit like the RT Keyball situation. You know, it, it's not what you expect to happen, but it can happen. And you know, it is a hobby, and at the end, there, if your boss says you can't do it, yes, you can disagree with it, but if your big boss is not allowed to do it in a company vehicle, and I can go through all the conspiracy theories why it happened as well. I've got a few theories, but you know, I've, you know, one of my major suspicions is my, or concerns is certain elements of the industry. I'm, I'm not trying to say not my company. I don't think my company will be overly misprotective. But the issues with big companies is the other thing that you have to realise. If even if you chat a little bit bad about them. They can very quickly do what they've just done. You know, it isn't the reason they have given, but I wouldn't be surprised if that is also a factor. Because I know, and this isn't, uh, I'm not trying to hit any dirt towards Jenko here. It's not Jenko's fault, by the way, this, as far as I understand it, at all. A lot of people out there who have been mentioning in that, the other Bo Legends comments about since then, saying, oh, it's because Jenko was moaning about... But yes, I can see why. He was moaning about the hours, and that is a bit of negative, you know, publicity in a way, even if it's not directly meant. So I can sympathise a little bit with it, but it, it isn't... You know, Jenko was only checking the truth at the end of the day. He was only talking about issues that affect the driver. And this is the issue that I have with big companies, you know, and you can art, you can defend them. I can sympathise a little bit why they do it, or can do it this way. 
is because as vloggers can show the truth what goes on in the industry. I'm not saying we should be a rebellion, no. Hope, the only aim for my vlogging, I try to be truthful to what I show, what happens in the industry. You know, a lot of what happens in these seas with me is not just with my company, it's with, you know, a lot of other companies. You know, there's a lot of stuff you have to put up with that's with this company just because it's in the industry, it happens in the industry, and it affects everybody. Thank you very much. I'm not saying it's a massive conspiracy, I'm, and the other thing I'm trying to say is that I'm not trying to start a rebellion for being a vlogger, and, you know, and I'm sure the other vloggers aren't trying to, but hopefully we can implement some positive changes in the industry, you know, some positive dialogue between the industry and the drivers. Or start to initiate it in, in some respects and make people outside the industry aware of issues that go on and what actually is like to be a truck driver. I'm not trying to be negative about being a truck driver. I want to bring truck drivers in. People want to be truck drivers in the industry. But I also want to try and target some of the issues within the industry like services, pay, you know, how we are treated. You know, I know yes you you earn how you're treated but I don't go into that discussion in this video to be make it you know more than as long as it is now if we talk about that but what I'm trying to get at is hopefully as vloggers we can show the positives with the negatives and highlight why the negatives happen and why the positives happen you know I try not to be I try to be fairly balanced I don't want to be completely negative it can sometimes be tough you know, you can be in that position where you have to show something negative that is really negative. Or talk about something that is really negative. And it will seem like, oh, it's a really bad industry to work in. No, it isn't. And the reason why I do vlogging and talk about the stuff, subjects within the industry, is because I love my job. I, I really do love being a truck driver. It's not just a job. It's a lifestyle to me. This is a big big pie of my life you know I get very little free time as a tramper I you know my home life is not, not non-existent but compared to most people's it's next to nothing really you know two days that's it 48 hours that's it I'm not home in the evenings you know or anything like that and that might sound really bad for some people. You know, that's not all what trucking is about. I, this, as I said, from the tramper's perspective here. You know, I'm a full-time tramper. I'm not a hyper-long-distance tramper. You know, so I'm not with Europeans. I'm not away for like a few weeks at a time, potentially. Even though, actually, that is something I would love to go and do. I actually have applied, on, but I only do it with certain employers, like, that's what the, obviously the good good tends to be the good companies to work for. But that is an object of mine to probably do, is to get into that work. Now, I really do love trucking. I also love vlogging it as well, because it shows my job. You know, I'm not the best vlogger out there, I know. <laughs> I know I've got a long way to go. I've improved. But um, it's, you know, not where I want to be, but I'm on the way there if you know what I mean. So I'm getting there, slowly but surely, bit by bit. There's errors like uh, my four camera and that not syncing up properly in some of the videos. I think sometimes it looks at the beginning like it's 100% synced and a bit later it will be a little bit off. I know there's ways to resolve that using different techniques. And I'm toying with different techniques and seeing what works for me and what doesn't. And, you know, so I think there will be some error for the foreseeable future. This if I find a very accurate fix in between now and whenever. You know, until that happens, you know, I do apologise if there is a little bit of time not sinking between the forward camera and I try and keep the audio is off the camera looks at me so that normally should be in sync with me so that's the important thing I think is to when I chat you, you can 
can see when I'm chatting. Because <laughs> a forward camera, the only way you know it's out of sync fully, I believe, is when you see back footage of what you've just seen go by. You know, bear in mind there will be a bit of a time that. I know it's not the only way to know it's not synced, but generally that's one of the big combat indicator, but mostly, unless you really are looking for it. And also, also I'm saying I'm at, I'm at a traffic light, and actually I'm not on the forward camera. That's the other reason I chat about. That's the big negative, is if I go, ooh, look at that, and there's nothing there to you, <laughs> and there was for me, you know, it's out of sync. And that's one of the reasons why I do want to tackle it. But it's not as easy as it may seem. I'm, I'm still learning it. I'm still, you know, if somebody does know how to do it, is able to point me in the right direction, please comment down below in the comments. It would seriously be very much appreciated. You know, you know, that, you know something like that would be awesome. Um, to follow videos how to do it as well you know it takes some time and it's a learning process at the end of the day but it's also equals time you know? as much as I love vlogging I've got to find the right balance in home life you know other stuff in the home life as well when I get home <laughs> that's why I think I need to get myself a proper editing laptop so at least I can edit the videos in the week then as I create them and when they get home on the weekends I'll just upload them and I'll just set YouTube to upload Big Bang Bosch jobs are good at but we'll see that invests money as well and maybe when the fat sells I might have a little bit maybe to do that we'll see I don't go to spending crap crazy one get paid for it but the main thing is actually the new bike so but maybe around Christmas maybe we'll see I'll see what's on the market first and how much are we looking at to get a decent uh, editing laptop probably Windows based I would love to have a Mac but even though I can do what I can do on a Mac but because I'm Windows based on editing computer at home, it'd be nice to have a Windows one so everything can be, you know, moved in between without any major issues, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, uh, I think we're coming towards the end of our big long chat video. Welcome me back to my channel. And I'm back, I know, hopefully, I'm back. There'll be a bit of turbulence after this video. Because I've, I've said I'm away for a week and a half after this, so there will be some more turbulence to come of lack of videos or thereof. I may do another smaller video just to highlight this because I know it's a big video and a lot of people won't get to this stage in the video, potentially, you know. But aside from that, all good, all no, no major dramas. As I've already said, we're not far off from the customer now, so you've basically followed me all the way into the customer, <laughs> more or less. Look a bit off, you probably guess who I'm going to, but I'm not going to say, I think I mentioned them before, but whatever. Never mind. So I would like to say a massive thank you to all those who have supported the channel, commented on the channel, it is appreciated. I'm really bad with names, so I do apologise. If you want me to shout you out, please comment down below. I would love to see how many people who would actually wouldn't mind to be shouted out. I know if you comment, you put a chance on your point, wouldn't mind to be shouted out, but I'd rather ask them, you know, some just thought, just like some uh, ideas, maybe saying that, you know, maybe just mention the people comment down below or. So yep, yeah, I'm happy to be mentioned in a video or something. But as I said it invests time though, so hopefully it's not a major issue, I don't shout people out. 
but yet I do appreciate comments people help out with the channel as well the likes is massively appreciated thank you very much for you who commented on that my um, I'm going on holiday video last one before Florida trip you know thank you very much is appreciated you know I said it, it, all the support on the channel is massively appreciated you know at the end of the day it's you know it just motivates me to keep on going and keep improving the content etc etc and so on and so forth so yeah again if you like this video or any of my content or want to see any more future content please don't forget to hit that big massive subscribe button hopefully below the video somewhere probably to your right <laughs> somewhere <laughs> depending on the device you are obviously um also if you are subscribed already or if you are subscribing please do not forget to hit that bell icon to remind you when i post up or when i eventually do get around to posting now that would also be appreciated and could be handy you don't have to if you don't you know because everybody says it and i don't get frustrated get like a million notifications come up Oh, but it's the good way also to know that somebody you follow has posted up. Um, does that? That's all good. So I think I've touched everything there. So I'll catch you in the next one. I'm sorry I can't say when the next one will be. As I said, it may be a bit turbulent still. So hopefully it's sooner than later. So I'll catch you in the next one. Over. I know.